line is, is formed, okay, is convex, uh, concave. But when you turn the machine, it is really concave. And when you decelerate, okay, then the form becomes concave. Now that's interesting because this is not accelerating. This is a deaccelerating form. And this part is deaccelerating twice as fast as this is. So another reason why the blood can't get down there and this doesn't blow up. Because this is a break. Now so many people say, oh yeah, the heart is a break. Nobody can say why. They just know they repeat each other and they keep quoting each other and it goes back and forth and it goes all over everywhere. But this is showing here, this is why this is. This is a deaccelerating organ. Now, this is what's really interesting. This shows that when the heart is full, that the inside and the outside have the same configuration. But when the heart empties, it twists. And then when it's full again, it goes back to its original shape. But this twisting right here happens at 40 degrees. And what's so interesting is that from here to here is one second. See that? One second's here. Right where, this, where it twists the most, that's right, yeah, 36. 36. 36. Mm -hmm. This number keeps coming up. What's amazing about this form is that this, this angle. Oh, the heart fell on the floor. See this angle? It's 36 degrees. So there's a configuration of not only when it moves, but in this static mm -hmm. state. And it sits at root 3, which is 36. That's just crazy. I had no idea this would happen. So I made a model that shows the inside and the outside geometrically perfect. And here it is. It shows the inside shape and the outside. And this is what happens. The heart moves about this much when it fills. And then it moves about this much when it empties. But the problem is, is that this in one, inside one, it doesn't go up and down. It twists mm -hmm. like that. So I had to try to figure out how to make that twist, and I did. Well, there it is. It twists, and it opens. It twists, and opens. Mm -hmm. Now, if I twist this 40 degrees, like it said, if I twist it 40 degrees like that, it comes to about right there. About right there. If I twist this another about 5 degrees, there is the fifth chamber. Right there is the new chamber that Rudolf Steiner is talking about. He's talking about in the future that our heart will have a fifth chamber. And that shows not only the fifth chamber shape, but it shows its valve. And so what's happening here, he says that this will change, if we can do this, our whole social life. We will be able to take the uh, etherized blood and be able to work with it in such a way that it will go up to the pineal and the pituitary gland and allow a new organ to develop where we'll be able to see etheric constantly. This is going to be the new etheric machine, according to what he says. So I uh, made a, a sculpture of that. That's what I do. Um, uh, so I made it. Here it is. That is the form of the fifth chamber. About the size of your little finger, and you take the heart and dissect it, well, the doctors will never find it. Never. It's not there. It's not visible. But it is there because the muscles take the configuration of the form and the valve. It has a new valve, too. So, what I feel about this is that this is pressure, and I think this is the new way of going, and the machines will be a pressure on no next to nothing. Less than nothing. We will be able to put pressure on less than nothing. And what's less than nothing? A vacuum. So what we're going to have to do is to try to find a way, which I have an idea I can do this. I have no money for this. So I do my other work. But I have a, a hunch just like this. I used to work at the casino, and a guy came in to borrow money, and he lost it all, and he went home. After a lot of coke. He went home the next day, a big guy, about 300 pounds, black hair, slip back, black suit, walks up and knocks on the door and says, listen, you're a casino. I know this because I work there. 
you, you owe the casino this amount of money. The guy says, I don't have that. And he says, okay. He says, I'm going to be back tomorrow at 12. Okay? Well, I still don't have this. Well, I'm going to be here. And he's standing in the doorway about to fill the doorway. So that's pressure on next to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he has no more money, huh? He's in a vacuum. And this guy's pressuring him. It's kind of like that. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so, you know, I'm supposed to be done here at 3.30, okay, and of course I have a, a lot more to go, w you know, I could do it, but uh, there's the etheric and the blue and the, and the construction, and also uh, that the Egyptians uh, uh, have a, uh, a birthing temple in Egypt, it's called the uh, Temple of Hathor. And Hathor is uh, here. And this is Princess here, new. And she swallows the moon. Nine months later, she's buried to the sun. And this is incarnating into the earth. Okay? And look what the incarnations are. They're bells. Rudolf Steiner said that in, right in these lectures here, and these lectures that he has, right here, I broke my dream. Uh, in these two lectures, he says that uh, what, are the, what does the astral body look like? Uh, what does the after body look like? There are bells. Mm -hmm. Then he says here, and this book he says, the human beings in the making who initially have only an after body appear to the eye of the seer like bells opening down. Mm -hmm. That all is luxury. So what are those bells? Those are human hearts. So if you if you take and extend that idea, that means that we incarnate with our heart. Not with our toes or our ears or our fingers. It's going to come in with our heart. And if you take the seven side form and you push it down from the top like this until it's a flat plane, it turns into a star. And the center says that we go back as a star. So, anyway, I have so much on here that just goes on in the middle of this cube. Okay, it sits right in the middle of the seven. And Rudolf Steiner said that in our heart we carry a, a box-like area for our karma that we bring with us. Okay. And no one can say, well, where's that cube in here? There's no cube in here. There it is. It's in the heart, and the geometry shows that this is perfect geometry. And then uh, this is the geometry of the heart inside the heart, and what it sh this is a whole new uh, geometry never seen before because it's the five and the seven. And it makes a seven-pointed star. I don't see it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now Rudolf Steiner draws a seven-pointed star. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but he does. This is a seven-pointed star based on objective science, which came from art. I discovered this artistically. And what happens is that the five goes up and hits the top circle, and the top circle divides this into a heptagram, which is seven. So here are seven divisions here and five divisions here. And Rudolf Steiner, and, uh, and I'm showing here how these two move. This circle moves and this circle moves, and you can see what would happen. They would never line up again until a, a number of uh, revolutions. If that's the way they move, you can see the combination. The only reason this new star has come in because it's a combination of five and seven. Okay, and so these are different configurations. These are the kind of things that I see that this is bringing which I have prints of, that's how I get money from my research. There's, I have no grants, nobody ever gives me a grant. So I work on it this way. Now here's where all the stars are lit, uh, and here's the original configuration. Now, this is really a lens. You see it? Mm -hmm. And that star really is, there really are two cones. So I always make go from two dimension to three dimension. They're really two cones, so they're two vortexes, okay, coming in opposite directions and turning in opposite directions. And as it goes around like this, this part of the lens, which is this, these two circles are based on the eye, our lens for our eye. If it goes around here, it centers on the periphery, and as it goes around, it's all peripheral. And when it comes into here, now the lens is focusing on the center.